Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another stream from your friendly neighborhood uh, streamer, Entra. And uh, today, we are in 3.18, which means I have to put the full disclaimer that uh, we will do what we can to stream a pleasant and fun experience for all of you. So should we run into technical difficulties, you know, beyond above and beyond the typical star citizen technical difficulties. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll either jump back to 3.17 uh, or we will, of course, call it a night. Uh, and that is all dependent on whether or not, uh, you know, star citizen plays along. And uh, oops, let me jump in here. And uh, it's some sort of weird... Weird thing going on there with uh, key binding. Very first time it jumps right into inventory. Hey, Moonraker. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Good to have you. Uh, so today, what I want to do is focus on kind of jumping into one of the questions I'm sure a lot of people will have once three seven or uh, three eighteen drops, and that is uh, how profitable really uh, is salvaging. So what we're gonna do is I've got kind of a uh, a nice little challenge of just trying to see how long it's gonna take for me to get uh, five hundred thousand. Uh, it's gonna go for a million, but geez, I think that would just take. Uh, way too long, and I think we're going to break this into parts. Uh, so the way I'm going to do this is I will run a timer. Uh, we'll set, you know, kind of the official time, which will be, you know, when I'm taking off from the hangar. Uh, we'll start a timer. Uh, I don't have a timer uh, overlay. Um, I do, but it's not ready. But I do have uh, an overlay that we're going to use tonight. Uh, and that is this overlay for my credits. So let me just bring that up. So there we go. Um, so right now, uh, my credits are set to what is in the PU. So I am going to just change that right now. You can use the amusing hawking bot, which is this bot that I built for the Discord. And it's pretty straightforward. I just type out balance and then I can set. set the balance so we're gonna start off here uh so yeah it looks like i have 30 what is it 30 yeah th wow 314,000. so i have to give away quite a bit of money uh to start off and i'm not sure how i got that much I don't, someone may have given me some money i'm not sure uh so i'm gonna give away uh and this could go bad very quickly but i'm gonna give away all my money and set us back to zero. Uh, do I want to do that in case something happens? Mm. I'm just going to give away. I guess we'll give it to, give it to Rennie. Why not? Uh, so we're going to give away. Why don't I just give, keep like 10,000? Or should I just give it all away? Let's just give it away. Actually, I don't think I can give it all away. It probably won't let me. So we we it's not that big of a deal. We'll get us down to practically nothing. So let's let's see if I can give away. Let's see what happens if I try to give it away. Give it all away. I can't. What can I give away? Uh, yeah. Let's 
just do what I can. And so I have just 2,669, which is fine. Uh, we're going to roll with that because I will just reset the goal here. Uh, so we should be seeing Do I have that set up? Let me just double check this. Sorry to mess with this uh, on screen, but. Yep, we're good. Okay, cool. So every time I set the balance, uh, we will see our goal change. So you, you see the progress bar is down to almost nothing. Uh, so as I continue to uh, change and update my balance, uh, we will see uh, that balance go up. So it's it's set at 2,699. Um, I'm just going to go, you know, for, in the interest of time, I will offset the, the goal later on uh, so that we're not here well, playing around forever. Uh, so let's bring out the Drake Vulture. That's what we want to do this all in the Vulture. Okay, so hangar two. I'll get in the vulture. And we will just start the timer. Now I'm I'm assuming that we're gonna have some technical difficulties, and I am gonna do my best to kind of take a shot at uh playing referee for all the craziness that might happen uh, in the game. So if we get a crash, I'm going to zero. <laughs> okay. Or if you just show up in your vulture and you have uh, already have some cargo to sell, uh, we'll take care of that. I'll empty all of this cargo out uh, when I when I get out into space. So <laughs> we'll start with zero. Uh, I forgot that I had actually had some some cargo in here. Let's see if there's nope, nothing in there, so we're good to go. Hey Moonraker, good to see you. Let me get into the pilot seat. Now, I'm not going to apply too many rules to this. Um, so if other people join or, you know, help me out, uh, I think that's fine. You know, I'm just going to do kind of a, a low key challenge here. Um, not going to overthink it. Uh, we're not going to underthink it. It's just going to literally be a challenge. Uh, so give me just one second now. We're going to get everything set up. Okay. All right. So the official timer starts. Uh, I should probably call for ATC, huh? And get ready to go. Okay. That's good enough. We're going to start the timer now. And uh, I'm at Arc L1, and I'm just going to harvest what's nearby. Start scooping and uh, start going. So it should be interesting to see how long it takes to get to that magic number. I think it's gonna take a while. That's just my impression. Grab one of these. I 
I'm doing pretty good, Moonraker. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good beginning of your new year. I see a lot of people streaming tonight. Having some good times. I think some people, a lot of people are doing Jump Town tonight. I think that's a good, good activity. There's somebody there. Looks like there's a reclaimer down there. We're going to blow past them. Yep, that looks like a reclaimer. Doing some work. Man, there are so many 890s out here. I don't see anyone fighting over reclaiming anything. Look at that. There's three 890s in a row here. And that vulture is definitely doing some stuff. Yeah, these are just like spawned right in. Hurt you uh, hurt your ankle. Hope uh, hope you're feeling better. Good idea to rest up. Is this guy just? I don't think he's gonna mind if I. Hang out here. This might be all scooped up. Let's see if there's anything. Oh no, there's plenty of material here. Oh, before we get going, let's get rid of uh, some cargo. Actually, you know what would be really cool? I don't know if this guy would get the hint or not. But if I flew over and let him see that I'm dropping off some cargo. Make sure he knows I'm here. We'll see what he does. He may, uh, he may think this is uh, some kind of trick. See me? Let's just do this. <laughs> Hopefully you'll see this as an offering. I just want to start with zero. So hopefully he gets it. Oops, I don't want to. There we go. Merry Christmas. I don't know if he's going to take that or not, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to get rid of it anyway. And uh, I just want to make sure that he has 
I have an empty cargo. I wonder if he just left. If he did. Looks like he did just leave. Okay, that doesn't really matter. He may have just saw... He may have thought I was going to cause some trouble. No, he's right there. Alright, I'm going to do something in global here. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, we're going to leave him alone. If he whips around and he sees those boxes, he may... Uh, see that he has a little present. I'm going to stay over here. And we'll keep an eye out for... We'll watch each other's backs. Kind of an unofficial pact. There's plenty of whales here to harvest. Okay. I mean, I should have started the clock now, but that's okay. Little music. And a little scraping. Hope you're all having a good Monday. If you're watching this. And another day, I hope you're having a good other day. I'd like to keep uh, doing as much streaming content in 3.18. It's kind of hard to go back to 3.17 for me once I see something fun like salvage. You know, it's it's kind of a challenge for me to give up on something I want to do. But of course, it is more stable.
Okay, hopper time. Of course, this is definitely one of those things if we're going to be timing this. It'd be a lot nicer to have somebody helping with cargo. Yeah, I'm not really looking for anything like scientific here in this challenge, by the way. Just a general sense. Like, what do you think? What am I going to make in an hour? We'll find out. Could do a very easy sample, too, and just kind of figure out how long it would take from a couple of runs and see what you could make. Everyone's going to be throwing their averages out and their numbers out and making these big claims about making a million. Make a million salvaging. I can just see the headline right now. Uh, we'll see. We will see, won't we? Actually sure if you have to stop the laser when you fill up that first box or not. I think you do. But I could be wrong. Because when I don't stop the laser, it doesn't seem to make the box. Thanks, Squirrel. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Seems like it's perfectly timed to the music. So what, that tracks a minute and a half, two minutes, something like that?
We're sitting at about 16 minutes right now. FYI. Yeah, this would be much more interesting if I had the timer on, wouldn't it? So you'd have to sit and watch a progress bar that doesn't move. up this last section here. Yeah, it's like one box per song. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yep. Good timing. stuff to scoop up yeah earlier today I was uh, getting some footage uh, the galaxy and Rene were nice enough to help me pull together some really nice footage and I'm thinking that what we might do in the discord is 
have a kind of a preview of some of the footage in like rough cuts. And uh, we'll do that for our paid members. I'm trying to think of some benefits for our paid members so that they get some benefits, you know? I already ejected that, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just move this one. There we go. Okay, so that one, that song was a little longer, I guess. Oh, I just saw that uh, squirrel mentioned that there's a video he's making, but we'll have to go check that out. Another game review. Okay, yeah, that'll be kind of cool. Check out after the stream. See how this is, there's ma it says no material, but there's 99%. I wonder if it's my other laser will work on this. No, I don't know why. Yeah, so not clear to me why I can't scrape up that little section. Somebody knows. Actually, I want that other laser.
We're making short work of this 890. So just four more, two more runs. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So if you're just joining, we are checking to see how quickly I can get to 500,000 credits by using the Vulture. Now, we're not going to do this all in one sitting. Uh, I was going to do a million, but I'm not sure we can count on the patch lasting that long. So we'll do our best to get as close to that as we can. But uh, we're going to do this in sessions. We'll do it in parts. And uh, I just started, nearly zeroed out my credits, so I have yet to make any money. And we've got about four more boxes to make of RCM, and then we can sell. And of course, I hope we can sell, <laughs> because it is a thing. Uh, there's a lot of issues with landing the ship and storing the ships, but uh, we're going to give it a go. And just do our best. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's PTU.
Patience. PTU stands for patience. Tolerable. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, see, it when I stop, that's when the ejection thing pop ejection thing pops up. So I'm wondering, yeah, if I don't stop, I'm wondering if it actually ejects. I think it does. So I'm not sure if anyone does this, if they do the New Year's resolutions. I don't know. I was thinking about skipping this year. That's my resolution. <laughs> and last year was such a big change. Uh, unexpected changes in my life. All, you know, I'm not going to say all for the for the good, but most of them for the for the better. And uh, yeah, it's it, it is a. I definitely didn't know last year this time I had no idea that in less than a year I was going to be moved across the country big changes patience tolerance and understanding yeah that's it that is what PTU stands for Patience, tolerance, and understanding. You better have all three of those in spades. Or don't come on in. The PTU is not for the faint of heart. But yeah, I'm about 34 minutes in, and that's a long 34 minutes. Remember, I stopped and dropped off all the cargo. Dumped that. So I wasn't... I haven't been salvaging this for a full 34 minutes not even close uh, but I kind of want to capture all the time I can I don't want this to be a race I want it to be kind of an accurate average of what you could expect to make in about an hour and also just how many hours it would take if I can maintain a average pace that's why I'm setting the, the goal to 500,000. And uh, I might just track, like, you know, since the this is a fixed cost, and we know exactly how much money you'll make with a full load, if I run into a bug where I can't sell, I'm still going to count that as money. Because uh, it's not... You know, it's not anyone's fault that that'll be fixed, presumably fixed, if I run into a cell, like a, a bug that I can't sell. Yeah, so Jump Town is going on right now. I think that's, you know, if I was in 3.17, that's what I'd be doing. But I'm just ready to move on from 3.17. I know that's kind of, um, I don't know. I've always been an early adopter, and I don't look back. I always update my software. I'm, I'm okay being an early adopter. And once I adopt, I don't want to look back usually. You know, even just the small things. The uh, the UI, you know, the the nice new kind of um, inventory. This thing, uh, just the extra kind of, you know, the thicker borders. It just it's easier to to view. Okay, I'm gonna clear these real quick. Then I'm going to use just a small break to go grab another beverage. Just another beverage. Uh, let's see here. We're getting close. Uh, I want to do this one. 
Good. Let's plop that there. Snapping works pretty well. Works pretty well. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, so uh, before I scoop up these next few boxes, let's you guys sit and watch the cargo. Make sure that no one steals it. And I will be right back. Give me just about two minutes. I'm just going to go grab a quick beverage. Okay, that was quick. That was very, very quick. I think I beat my, my record there. Uh, so I want to restart the timer and get back to salvaging. Just two more boxes to go, so maybe another two minutes or so. Oh, I was crouching there. That was an abrupt stop of the music, too. Sorry if that alerted you. Normally, I like to transition my music. back into it. Yeah, you know, it, I spent a lot of hours doing this, and um, it is pretty enjoyable. Actually, I kind of like third person. The only disadvantage with third person is you don't know where you are in the progress bar. But you, if you listen very closely, you can hear the hop. You can hear the uh, filler station doing its thing. But there's a little noise and to prove to you that I know what it is, I will. Uh, I'll continue to just stay in third person for this this bit. And when I hear that little noise, I'll tell you. There it is, right there.
Yeah, you see him back to zero. So really, you could just do this all in third person if that's what you prefer. I kind of I kind of like this view better. So obviously you can tell I'm in 3.18 right now. It seems to be pretty stable today. In fact, um, I got right in. Um, I did a pre-check uh, before I started streaming. I had kind of a backup plan in case it, uh, this didn't work. And uh, I got right in. Uh, so no eight minute load screen or anything. I think we could also be seeing a situation where people have kind of given up on 318. A lot of people, I know a lot of streamers have. Um, they're just not showing it, and, and and rightfully so. It's kind of frustrating when you're trying to you're trying to do something right, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, you can't move, or you know, elevators don't work, or you know, you can't open a door, and it's not a 30k. It's just you know. So I can see how that would be very frustrating. And if, if that happens, if it continues to happen, you know, why you wouldn't want to stream that? You know, who wants to see that? Who, who wants to see somebody getting frustrated? Uh, so there's that noise again. That should be the obstruction one. I'm just going to pull away from there. Yep. So that should be... Is that our last two boxes? I think it is. Now I can add more uh, to the hallway here if I really, really want to. I just, you know, you have to be careful. You have to be careful because uh, that that will come off as loose cargo. Yeah, why don't we do that? Since we're out here, and we kind of want to make the most of our our time. Let's overfill the uh, vulture a little. Because we can definitely leave one out here. Um, we can fit two, you know, maybe three more. Maybe this is really crammed in here. That's where you just absolutely need there's not a lot of room here, but I would be willing to do maybe one or two, maybe three more. Might as well stack it up, right? Hey, Space Bub, welcome to the stream. I, I don't know if you're still streaming or not. I was going to do, I was going to join you guys, uh, but I wasn't sure if you'd still be doing Jump Town. By the time I jumped on, and I wasn't really sure I would <laughs> be adding to the festivities. I think I would have caused some delays if I had decided to join. So I figured I would do some salvaging. We're kind of checking out how long it takes to, you know, get to a certain uh, dollar amount, but uh, or credit amount, I should say. But I don't think I'm going to, obviously, I'm not going to do 500,000 500, credits. That's not going to happen. Uh, I, I, I hope everything went okay. It sounded like you guys were getting, getting your stuff together, uh, when I checked in last, but, um, I know it can be frustrating to, <laughs> to join in on, uh, uh, you know, while you guys are doing your thing, I didn't want to join in and cause a delay. Oh, see now this is, this is my money mode. I'm sorry that uh, it sounds like, oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, you know, that is kind of jump town. It's like, sometimes I don't even know why. I, I mean, I know why people prep for jump town, of course. It's the smart thing to do, you know. You, um, but you know, uh, my from my experience of doing jump town, which are few and far between, it's, it's almost like every time I try to prep, um, 
uh, you know, the, I, it's just that's the time wasted. It does happen, and, and, you know, it's smart to do, you know, get organized, and that takes a long time in Star Citizen. That's no one's, you know, that's that's kind of just the, the nature of the game. Um, and, you know, sometimes you get to jump town and no one's there. Uh, I was going to ask you, Space, did you, were you on the same server as uh, Starstreams? Because uh, he was doing jump town. And uh, I think he had a bunch of people there. Um, so maybe if you're on his server, you ran into his crew. I think he had like 20 people. Um, I just quickly popped over to and saw that he was streaming. And I wondered if you guys are on the same server. So are, 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 are you still streaming or, or did you call it? Well, grab a drink and Sit back and relax and watch a little uh, streamy, uh, salvaging. <laughs> oh, did you really? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man, I am so sorry. I know how frustrated you must be uh, or disappointed in, in what happened for you to delete this, the episode. Well, you're in good hands, man. Nothing's going to happen to me. I'm safe and sound here in 3.18, off on my own, <laughs> doing some salvaging. Yeah, you know, I do. I, I literally... Um, thought about just popping in and, and saying hi and um maybe helping out but when i when i looked it was like you guys were on your on you kind of had a false start and i'm like oh man if i go in now i'm gonna add another hour to of exposition to his uh to his stream and i'm not gonna i you know i, I like you too much to do that to you <laughs> so i'm like i'm just gonna hop off if i if i have my stuff um Together, I would have joined, and because uh, I saw that you had kind of a heads up in your Discord, like get ready and let's do Jump Town. Uh, that was really smart, by the way. I think, you know, uh, you almost just have to have. You know, like when I used to do Mining Mondays, um, they would require uh, everyone to be in menu at the same time. You know what I mean? Like you, you started in menu uh, with the with the group. And your character had to be at a certain location, and if you if you miss any of those two requirements, they kind of just left you behind. Um, but you know, that's teaches people to kind of get on time and get organized. Because I think a lot of people, myself included, you know, we sometimes forget how quick or how long it takes things to happen in Star Citizen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can keep salvaging, but I just... Now it's a ritual. I stop the laser when it makes the box. Yeah, Space, I, I think you, you should. It sounds like the thing to do, though, is just, like, have... You know, kind of have a go time. You know, I mean, you did that. I'm not, I'm not criticizing you by any means, you know. Uh, but also, I think, you know, other, part of the other challenge with streaming it is, you know, you, yeah, people watching and you're, you're going to go into Jumptown. 
So the more time they have to figure out where you are and what you're doing, uh, the quicker your death could be. But it sounds like you had a good jump down um, the stream before this one. And also, it sounds like uh, you're getting some raids. I saw Captain Astro raided you the other day. That was pretty cool. That's a that's a nice uh, feather in the old cap, as they say. Uh, he's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, I've been following him for a long time. Um, in fact, I I think I was following him before I really got it. Well, no, because it was all I watched uh, Star Streams first, and then he he and Star Stream used to be um, kind of uh, they're big buddies, and they were they would stream together and do some rock mining course and uh captain astro he's a big uh msr fan too but he's also a rock ds fan <laughs> and uh yeah i mean he, he makes he makes that cool i i i'm not uh a fan of the rock ds which is the uh little buggy but uh he yeah he, he uses that I'm not a fan of that, but uh, I'm a fan of his channel. He's he's a pretty pretty cool dude. Okay, I think that was our extraction, though. I didn't see the uh, warning pop up. Maybe I'm getting very close. Let me uh. There we go. Jeez, just needed a just a little bit more. Okay, so that's obstructed. We're gonna be we're gonna this is really gonna be the last of it. And I might just go I might go try to sell. Cause I'm getting a little nervous about the fact that I have yet to sell. Okay, so I need to remove this one. Get through this door. There we go. Ah. The turning thing again. What do I hold down? Turn this thing. There we go. <laughs> Love how it does a little bunny hop. Uh, and then I'm just going to leave the other one here. Then I'm going to go sell. I'm going to go sell. Yeah, I was talking to Captain Astro. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't personally having a conversation with him, but I was in his chat on uh, his New Year's Day uh, stream for a little bit. And uh, I was kind of talking with him. He's He was responding. He was really good at... Uh, Responding to his chat. Okay, let's go see. I want, I'm curious if that dude is still there. I don't think so. Now, when we got here... Oh, yeah, I was going to say there were three... Look at that. One, two, three, eight nineties. So, yeah, there's no shortage of material to salvage here. <laughs> All right. 
Let's head to um, Dark Corp. And of course, the new 3.18 planets are invisible, which is kind of cool. Area 18, here we come. So this credit score progress bar is actually the way I'm setting that is through my discord bot. So I'm, I'm literally popping into discord and messaging my bot, my balance. And I've got this, uh, so that it actually just, um, updates this progress bar. This is a custom overlay that I made. And, uh, also I'm going to be working on some more custom overlays because there's been some interest uh, in some of the work I'm doing, I'm reaching out to some of the other streamers. Um, I'm not gonna name names, but, um, a couple of, uh, pretty big streamers. Uh, I'm in some conversations with them, uh, about them beta testing, uh, this, uh, overlay bot, um, interface that I have and, uh, yeah, I'm doing some custom things and they have some specific needs. So I might be building in features that, um, I offer to them for free, uh, and any other streamer that I know will get them for free. Um, yeah, so some some things are are happening on the development front for uh, stream overlays. Yeah, um, Captain Astro has a probably one of the better stream overlay setups. Very clean. Um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of cool things to look at from there. I like his intermission, um, different setups. Star Streams is also very good and very well, like consistency and brand and everything. He's, I think, between the two of them, they're. Uh, they're doing really well. Probably the best overall branding. Ha I mean, that's not to take away from Star Streams and Captain Astro, but uh, I would have to say hands down um, would be uh, uh, Space Tomato. Uh, he is absolutely 100% locked in, tight brand, uh, through and through. Uh, Subliminal is also really good. Um, he is very talented. I'm not sure if he does all of his own uh, or not. What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> like, for some reason, I thought I was in Loreville. I'm looking for the big. <laughs> I'm looking for the big building. I'm like, where's the big building? Stall, stall for time. Uh, yeah, Subliminal is awesome. Uh, his branding is fantastic. And I, I, I want to believe, I, I want to say he actually does his own graphics. Because uh, he's made them, you know, kind of 
on air. Um, and yeah, he's phenomenal too. Space Tomatoes, just amazing. Um, Captain Astro is good, and Star Streams are, are both of those are are good examples of brands. Um, who else out there does a phenomenal job? Yeah, Ollie, Ollie does a pretty good job with his branding. Yeah, I think he's got, uh, you know, kind of an eye for making thumbnails, and um, his his mark is really well done. His logo mark, or sometimes icon, or people refer to it as an icon. It's not really, but. Yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to do my own stream overlays. I don't like the mismatched look. Um, that's just not right for me. I don't like it. We did lose most of our music in Star Citizen. Okay. Did. It like pops in and out. Yeah, see, this whole thing could be messed up by an elevator not working, which is not uncommon. <laughs> so I may have just, you know, done all that work and received zero credits for it. Uh, that's kind of interesting. They put me in the flight path of a, there's a reclaimer. You won't mind if I fly underneath him? We're practically cousins. Me being a vulture and them being a reclaimer. this square one, it's hard to tell which direction they want me to face. So I'm just guessing. Oh, that's a terrible lineup job, isn't it? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be going this way. Right? Yeah. still very, very difficult to see. All right. What has happened? There we go. Beginning landing. Landing 101. <laughs> I take my sweet time. I've got nothing to prove. Plenty of people who can do th like trick landings, and I admire those people, and I let them be. Let them do that. I go into third person. I do the top down look. I just don't risk it. Now, uh, one potential problem here is going to be this elevator. Oh, guys, I, I got to tell you, uh, the video that we shot today, uh, Rene was helping me and uh, the Galaxy, both uh, members of the Discord, 
Uh, boy, those guys were... Uh, oh, yeah, I got to go out the other door. Uh, those guys were awesome. Uh, so I just needed a couple of shots today. And we took my uh, the STV out. And uh, Great Cat STV. And I'm like, I just want some steady cam shots of me doing, you know, some jumping. Uh, you know, and they, oh man, they were just absolutely amazing. Each of them just had such a great, uh, eye for, okay, everyone cross their fingers because this elevator, oh, thank God. Yeah. So we started with just a couple of jump shots and I knew exactly what I wanted. And so we got that shot knocked out. And it only took us took us a little bit of two hours maybe. And they I mean, at the end when we had all the footage, uh, I was just like, I'm just gonna drive and and Rennie's like, I'm just gonna fly over you and capture you driving in we were at Microtech. And uh yeah. We're at Microtech. Oh, did I just lose my helmet? No, I didn't. Uh, and so we're in the snow, and the snow's kicking up, and I'm, and Rene's just flying behind me like a drone, you know, keeping on me as I'm driving away, you know, and the snow's kicking up. Oh, man, just some really cool shots. Uh, I think I'm going to make some of this raw footage or rough cuts available on my Discord for paid members. Um, trying to use, you know, kind of have a benefit for being a paid member. So look forward to that. If you happen to be a paid member, I'll have a room set up, uh, kind of a private chat uh, channel on Discord. And of course, you know, I'll make the video public. Oh, uh, look at this. What's this? What is this? What is this? Somebody just dropped a box. Are you kidding me? Sir, is this your box? I think this might be his box, and I just stole it. So I'm going to put it back down. Because I don't want to be... Is that... There you go. Is that yours? Sorry, dude. Is that yours? Okay. I'm not stealing your stuff. But you should go away to someplace private when you do that. So people don't steal your stuff. Uh, we're going to take the, yes, we're going to drop this, store it. Oh man, we made it. That cargo, that money is as good as ours. For the latest <laughs> that was the weirdest. <laughs> Did you guys see how I pulled away from that terminal? It's like the gravity was off center. All right. That dude's probably very upset that I grabbed that box and moved it, but that's, you got to know better than that. You can't, you can't be putting your, taking your stuff off in the middle of the crowd. Oh, I, I'm sure I ran into that dude. I'm sure that dude's mad at me. Not without me, it's not leaving. Not without me. I got it. I would say on average, I catch the train. On average, I always catch the train. It's nighttime. So a little quiet music.
think I'm going to race that dude, but I think he's he's in heavy armor, so it's really not a fair race. Oh, I'm in heavy armor, I think. Based on the speed. He's probably not going to the TDD. I'm going to try to jump this in heavy armor. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm in medium armor. Oh no. Uh, I need to sell cargo, sir. Oh, I mean, how lucky were we that everything worked up until this point? I mean, this isn't going to work. It's all the same service. Oh, I did see use though pop up. Hmm. Okay. Well, without the TDD, Let's check customer service. Isn't this always the way though? Like you go to customer service and they're never there. Job well. Notice it doesn't say done after that. It just says job well. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go somewhere else, come back. That's step number one. That's the equivalent of turn it off and Turn it back on again. Do, 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 do. And then uh, worst case scenario, I could try to log. I could, I could. I'm stopping the timer. And I could easily do the math. But I want that money. Cleared out my account. I need that money. Oh yeah, I have no money to buy anything really. Whoa, did you guys see that? Was that a rescue beacon from Star Streams? Uh, yeah, I think that was, wasn't it? Did you guys see that? I'm sure it got picked up, but I'll have to rewatch the stream to see if that was really star streams. Oh, I should see if he's even on the server. He's not on 3.18. He's not on 3.18. Now that we have this elf baptized, it's easy to find people. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Oh, star streamer. Oh, you, you, you copycat. Oh, you copycat. Are you copying? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's probably, he or she is, they are probably unaware. My global chat go though, huh? There we go. Star streamer. Hmm, okay. All right, let's go back and check that terminal. And then if not, I'm going to do a menu log. Because it's 318. 318. And you can't do a stream 318 without some menu logs. Can I jump that? I can jump it. I wonder if anyone has ever tried to get up this thing. I'm sure people have. It's not as simple as climbing, but that would be a nice little 
challenge. Okay, I'm going to go to the TDD. I'm just going to cross my fingers that this happens. Are you really? You're going to... Alright, if you want railguns, I know I at least have a few. Okay, so this is the blank menu. Now the question is, how do you sell? I could end up buying something, so I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to log out and um, jump to menus real quick. And uh, I'll let you watch this nice comic technical difficulty screen movie that I made while I do that so you don't have to watch me fumble so enjoy the show uh, I promise to add more to this because we use this quite a bit uh, but I will I will definitely definitely add to this this technical issues video and uh, so uh, look forward to that too Give me just one minute. And I'll be right back. Uh, something tells me you're going to want to see whatever this is. Oh. Okay. Well, I thought I was going to jump into some kind of crazy... Uh... Wall or something. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's what's going on. 
these people, you, you, I'm just going to do a little house cleaning here because that will dramatically, yeah, that's a bad thing for, uh, somebody who, uh, logs in. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe that's why they did it. I don't know. Uh, because when you log in, that's where the body goes. Uh, okay. Let's place that. There we go. Let's do a little cleaning here. Uh, now I should. I wonder. Do I still have... I don't. Okay, I've got all this stuff because this is my home. Okay. Now, I was just going to look for loose items because you can collect loose items now. And some of them are here in the Habs. Uh, but I, it could be that, that the person before me got them and took them out of this Hab. Oh, look at that. There's a gun rack in here. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, eventually this will be a hab that you have designated to you. Okay. Enough, enough fooling around. I want to sell some cargo. Let's see what we have here. Uh, that looks like a wall that I don't want to fall through. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's crazy. Oh, I hope this guy hasn't been in the elevator this whole time. Uh, let's go to the ground floor. Oh, don't step out. I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay, well. You can, uh, okay. <laughs> He's just, just making sure that the elevator persists. That's smart. Okay. Take two. Jumping. Karate chop. Uh, yeah, space bubble. I have more rail guns uh, than I need, which is more than one. I'll keep one, but I don't need anything more than one. So you're welcome to all of my rail guns. Because uh, I used to, I just started collecting them for a while. Okay, so, oh, these panels already look better. The old hull A is sitting here. That's what we wanted to see. So now, if I were to do this from memory next time, I think you should take a screenshot. Look at this. Yentra, Yentra. Everything is tw just... It's just doubled up. Okay. Uh, recycled material. Yeah, so there's two loose... Sell that. Confirm. Let me just mute here because I got some noise. Okay. Sold. Everything's sold. Uh, so we finally get to update my balance.
So that's uh, 110, 466. Okay. All right. So with that... There we go. Progress bar updated. Okay. So now... Let's see how well we can loop that. So that was... I would say kind of a fair assessment of time for that uh, would have been under an hour uh, because I wasted uh, some time, quite a bit of time, and uh, a lot of it wasn't salvaging. So, so we're 22% there. <laughs> Not too bad for about an hour. Not too bad. Again, well under an hour. Uh, because I uh, discarded all that cargo. I wasted time doing that. I took my break. Oh, my spot. Should we do something? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I might have a few. Oh, I should have really have checked. But I... I I used to do these box missions, Space Bub, and uh, the that box mission. I think you did one with me. And there was a period of time where I had railgun after railgun after railgun in those in the uh, loot boxes. And I just caught some kind of streak, and I just kept collecting them because I knew people liked them. And uh, they sell. At the time, they were selling for like 100,000 in credits. Like, you could just sell them. So I just started collecting them. Uh, but I did give a bunch away and everything. So I don't know where what my final count is. But I will pop into uh, 3.17 sometime. And uh, make sure I can give those to you. And just add to your collection. It won't be 20 or 30. but. And if you want help collecting them. However I can be of help. Maybe that will be a nice stream to get back to 3.17 if I need to. Look at this dude. This guy and I are gonna race. He doesn't know it yet, but he's gonna lose. Oh. Oh, that that son of a bitch. Oh, that's my terminal. That's my terminal. But you did win, fair and square. Okay, we're, we're taking the vulture back out. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Is there something about the Asian servers that I just just want to be alone? Is that like what's the point of the what's the significance of the Asian servers? Is there any tie to rail guns in the Asian servers? Okay, I call the elevator. It's, okay, good. Whew, everything is just hold your breath and hope it works. Uh, hangar 11. Oh, good. I got the small hangar. Go, 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 go. Uh, 
Uh, somebody told me that you can sell uh, RCM at uh, a moon uh, at one of the mining stations. I have yet to test that. Uh, that would be very cool if you could. Because this is a bit of a pain. And with something that's not terribly profitable, uh, to make us go all the way to planet side, uh, we could just sell them at space stations. Or on moons, that would be great. Uh, okay, guess I'm not here. At some point, I want to do a kind of a, some salvage outside of the uh, space stations. I think that'd be fun. Uh, just head to a planet or a moon. Ah, so this is a timing thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a first. Um, in my video, I really zoomed in on, like, every aspect of this ship. And there's some really cool... Uh, little details and features that are are just absolutely amazing. Um, some venting here on the sides and these arms, which fall off, by the way. They fall off very easily. Uh, but these cylinders and the hosing are along the side there. This is some really cool... cool uh, details. Look at the uh, patterns and everything. I mean, just they are just so good at look at all the hosing and everything and the wiring, the conduits. Yeah, very cool. That's this is just one of many ships. Uh-oh. Am I not wearing a helmet? That looked very suspicious, like I'm not wearing a helmet. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to head back to Arkell 1. Because that's where the 890s live.
Yeah, I feel like I'm not wearing a helmet. Space bulb. I saw. <laughs> yeah, I saw what happened to you. Ah, oh, you started choking. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not wearing a helmet right now. Um, we're going to find out. Oh, no, no, not screw you. No, not at all. Yeah, I mean, but there's the, you're wearing a helmet, but you're not wearing a helmet. And I'm wearing a helmet, but am I, am I, am I wearing a helmet? Well, geez, that's a, that is a, that's an aggressive, geez, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, everyone. <laughs> I did, there's no intention for me to uh, flash that. I'm Okay, there we go. I mean, I'm wearing a helmet. There I am. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. We're going to crash. We're going to crash. No, we're not. We got it. No, we're not going to crash. Yes, we are. Yes, we crashed. Okay. <laughs> uh, I had cruise control on. But the good news is... Uh, I will be back at Argo 1. Uh, okay. That was stupid. <laughs> that was just absolutely not <laughs> smart of me. <laughs> oh, 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 the apologies that I must render. Uh, I think I'm going to, can you edit a live stream? Like while you're live, can I just go back and delete that? <laughs> This has gone off the rails. Okay, but I'm back. And better than ever. Uh, I wasn't in a party. Okay, well. Did I take it? Yeah. Okay, I was just going to try to steal stuff. Yentra go boom. Yentra go boom. That's what happened. That's what happens when you jump into third person and don't turn off <laughs> don't turn off your uh, cruise control. And you know, when you're that close to the station. Uh, I don't think I have anything here. I still have uh, Rennie's pants. Um FYI. Oh, I do have all this sub stuff, I guess. Let's face it. There's a good chance I'm going to die again. So, uh, the double click doesn't work anymore on, on this. And these are garbage. Get rid of this. Oh, I guess it kind of does. <laughs> yeah, third person will kill you. Uh, literally or, you know, figuratively. Uh, oh, yeah, and I can't really go anywhere. Shoot, shoot, shoot. This is another potential issue. I'm going to first I'm going to claim the vulture. Which is destroyed. Uh, because I was too close to the, um, I was too close to the station, I think, for me to, for the, my body to be spawned there. Uh, so I'm going to file a claim. Your insurance claim has been 
I'm going to pay that fee, which is going to hurt my average. Uh, because I need to go get... I need to go get a multi-tool. I can't, I can't do this without that. So we are putting ourselves at a huge risk. Unless I kept some here. Oh, thankfully I did. Yeah, because what, what I'm panicking about is these elevators don't work. And uh, you can get trapped. And if you get trapped... Oh, what is that? What is that? I'll take it. I'm short of nearly everything. Is there a better undersuit I can wear? I would rather wear the default. Yeah, you guys may not know this, but that looks pretty close to me. Like, I, that's almost exactly what it looked like. So there's your face reveal. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Uh, okay. So we're going to wait for this thing to need another minute. I just need a minute. Everybody just settle down. I need a minute. This is the NPC that gets in my opening shot every single time. This Ray-Ban dude. Dude. When you see me over here, you, you go, you know, go someplace else. You scatter. Make yourself scarce. Uh, okay. Was that a minute? No. No, that was not a minute. Uh, Moonraker, I got Rene's pants uh, when <laughs> when <laughs> we were salvaging, and he insisted on on loading up his pants and and uh, sharing them. And I'm like, I don't want your pants, but that was how he's trying to pass um, stuff to me. Yeah. But I still have them, yes. Seven seconds. These are Rene's pants. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, ready to go. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar two. Yeah, it went a little bit like that, Moonraker. Uh, yeah, I think his intent was we didn't have backpacks. And so I thought, I think what he tr was trying to do was to put these attachments in his pants, in his leg armor. Uh, and then he just kept saying pants, like, I'm going to give it to you in my pants. And, <laughs> and I was like, Rennie, I don't think you know how that, so how that sounds. Uh so the, it was a thing. Yeah. He just, uh, and he never collected. All right. We're back in the field. Finally. Whoa. Jeez. I should have a timer for how long it took to uh, do all the non salvage things before I could start salvaging again. That's a timer I need. It's all good. Everything is all good. It's a new year. We should all have a new attitude. Uh, we should all be happy. 
that we made it another year in this crazy world and uh, appreciate one another. You know, even appreciate the people who bother you. You know, I think that's kind of like my mantra for the year is, you know, I think, I think the thing is in this year, I probably let more people bother me than I should have. So I'm going to try to put an end to that. What other New Year's resolutions are out there in the world? Do you guys have any good, good new goals or new uh, things that you want to happen in this year? I know it seems kind of crazy to wish for anything good, given the last three years of craziness that we've had. More than three years. Uh, but uh, every year I do, uh, I do have a kind of a tradition. And some of it's business related. I have like a little notebook. Uh, moleskin that I keep and I write down all the things I want to accomplish uh, the things I want to do uh, I'll share some of those things in the discord that are related to what we do <laughs> Space, but my new attitude is Mario Maker themed I have to tell you I I'm extremely impressed uh, with your Mario Maker uh, gameplay. I just the amount of resolve that you have is super impressive. Um, oh, there's another reclaimer. I'm very impressed with that gameplay. Oh, this is where we were before. I wonder if my boxes are still here. Remember, this is the this is the same three. It has to be. Unless they just spawn this way. Oh, yeah, there they are. There's my boxes. Right here. This is the cargo that I threw out to... Uh, this is the cargo I threw out uh, for that other vulture to take. Uh, because I wanted to start with a, um, no cargo. That is really funny. Okay, well, I'm not going to take it, but it's there. That's so funny. All right, so it doesn't look like he did very much work on this 890. We're going to We're going to start working our way through this thing. Nice clean slate here. Yeah, persistence is a very, um, I think that's a good, good thing to take away from a game though. I mean, I think the loop of, um, dying and, 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 you know, going through each level that you go through, I think that's part of the fun of watching it, uh, from my perspective is like, it's kind I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to sound, um, condescending but something is it like it's it's good to see you go through the the whole you know, gamut of like failure to success to you know being si systematic in your approach and like it's the whole thing that's entertaining 
um, to watch. It's it's you kind of getting to the you know unlocking the the puzzle of it. Um, that's what I find to be entertaining. Uh, and I don't mean entertaining in a, in a derogatory term. I just it's just that's you know I will watch anything you put out. You know that. Um, but uh, Mario Maker is one of those things where I think it's it's a different part of your brain that you're working, and you can tell. You can tell that you, you're you striving for success. You're striving to win. Uh, but you're also systematic and, and, and methodical and, and persistent. Uh, that's that's uh, a challenge, uh, that game, in, in and of itself. But, you know, that kind of challenge for that game is appropriate. You know, that's what that game is about. Um so sometimes it can be difficult to play a game like Star Citizen where that's not part, that's not supposed to be part of the game. You know, frustration because you can't figure something out. That's not really the goal of a game like this. Uh, yeah, it shows, Space Pope, it does. It shows that you do, uh, and that's what's great about that game and you playing that game is the loop, the, uh, the game loop is so tight. It's so quick. You know, you do a level. And, you know, how long do you think you're on a level? A few minutes? Uh, and then you have to do the level again. And um, Yeah, it's not, a, it's not about beating the game. It's about these little wins, you know. Um, I think that's, I think that streams really well too. I think that's a great game to stream. I don't know how did you pick that game uh, to stream? Had you? I mean, I I would imagine you play a bunch of other games too. Oh, what's going on? What is happening? Uh... <laughs> I don't have my somehow I ended up in Rennie's pants oh these cursed pants will be the death of me I don't have my <laughs> I don't have my multi uh, okay I don't have my multi tool which means I need to go <laughs> I need to go back luckily we're close to the station and get my multi tool I'm going to throw... You know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. Because these pants have been my curse. Uh, so, Rene, if you're watching, I apologize. Uh, for what I'm about to do. I think I can throw a box. I don't have a multi-tool, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, yeah, this isn't the only phrasing. Uh, it's not going to let me do that. All right, well, I can... Your pants are floating uh, at Arc L1. FYI. Now I need to go get the uh, multi tool. Need to get a multi tool. The multi tool. can't believe that happened. Contact.
Oh, I see. So that came before Star Citizen. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember you mentioning uh, Space Bob that you you had a kind of a history with that game. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 kind of telling because uh, you are the same entertainer. You know, your your level of entertainment, um, it's there. It's the same thing. But you know, with Star Citizen, there's so many frustrating moments, and there's a a very very niche obvi uh, audience. Uh, yeah, I mean. You know, Moon. He's got uh, thousands of views on his on his uh, Mario Maker content. But you also have to ask yourself, you know, like, what do you want? You know, do you want? Is it just views? Uh, and I know the answer to that's kind of, you know, no, but yes, also, you know, you want valid. I'm, I'm in the same boat. I want validation. I want, you know, I don't want to be doing this for nothing. Uh, but, you know, you kind of also have to, uh, I don't know, you know, like if you don't enjoy playing the game, that will translate. Um, and I can, you know, I'm, I'm locked into this game mainly because I'm not, Really, I'm not really not a full on, you know, I don't have other games that I play. This is kind of it. So, uh, you know, yeah, could I play another game? Sure. But, um, uh, you know, so I don't know. I, I, it, it's tough. Um, I, I think a lot of people burn out on, uh, Star Citizen because it's not, it's not an easy game to play, and that doesn't mean that anyone, that, you know, the people who burn out are weak or, you know, uh, it, it just happens. It, it is a very, very frustrating game to play sometimes. And and when you're streaming, you, you know, you don't want, I didn't really even have to land, did I? Uh, I'm just realizing I could have, I could have gotten this multi-tool without landing. But, you know, it, it's frustrating. And if it's too much frustration, then, you know, that's not a fun thing to watch. And it's not a fun thing to, you know, it's just not fun to be in that situation. Uh, okay. Well, that was just. Crazy. Okay, there we go. I don't want you to sleep until you have a silver play button, Space Bum. I don't, I don't think you should. I think you should stay awake and uh, just do whatever you have to do. Um, I don't know if I agree. I don't think the I don't think the audience is spoken for. Here's my theory. I think that, well, first of all, I mean, what do you call the audience? Are you, how are you measuring audience? Are you measuring audience by subscriptions or views or by live concurrent viewers? Because all three of those paint a dramatically different uh, picture. And my opinion is that, first of all, there's, uh, I don't think the audience is spoken for. I think that the audience that is watching all the other popular streamers w are looking for more content. Uh, and, and there's sharing to be had in, in their audience. Ah, I'm going, I don't know what, what I'm doing right now. Sorry. I'm, I'm distracted. Uh, I think there's sharing to be had in the audience. That's kind of point number one. Uh, it's a tight, small group, um, but there's a lot of loyalty in there. Um, take a look at the numbers of, I think one of the things that's kind of most telling about the audience is when the big 
star citizen streamers stream together like very recently uh check out their numbers there's some interesting insights there um and i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to go into detail but i've done you know a look i've taken a look at that let's just say that uh and what i found to be pretty interesting is there are some people who stream uh and they have a pretty loyal following following sorry um and whenever they go live people go um but i don't know if i trust subs on YouTube. I don't trust subs. Uh, and what I mean by that is I think about what it takes to sub, uh, subscribe to a channel. You, you, you literally press a button and then it's on you to go press that button off to unsubscribe. So I think the number of subs from people who've been streaming for a while, uh, you know, that is, uh, there's a lot of legacy there. Um, they're bringing in, uh, you know, subs from years ago. People who may just not unsubscribe. So, I don't know. Hey, Mordred, welcome to the stream. Uh, I agree with you about, you know, the audience is different on YouTube. Uh, than Twitter as evident by the fact that now I'm just causing myself trouble if I head to that right um, as evident by the fact that you see a lot of YouTubers who only stream on YouTube they're starting to play around with, with Twitch um, they're trying to broaden their audience and Twitch seems like the easy grab But there's a number of variables here, you know, look at, I mean, space, like, honestly, like you, sh like having 2000 views of a video, that's pretty good. That's a, that's a win. Um, you could, you know, argue that that's a one way to, you know, that you're successful. You've, you've, you've hit a milestone there, but uh, to get that silver play button, What's that? What do you need? 50,000? Uh, I'm not going to run into this. Okay. Yeah. It Star Citizen is niche. It's not a, it's not a, it's, it, the game isn't done. And until it is released, there will be a large population of game gamers that will not care about this game until it's gone, until it's released, rather. Um, growth is exponential in YouTube. I think you're going to hit, uh, you're going to have to hit that, that thousand mark. And then after that, you'll get 10,000. Um, look at Glassjaw. That dude got a thousand people in a weekend. In one weekend. Um, you know, that's not normal. Oh, yeah, I gotta clear my... Oh, God, did I... I really need to make sure I had that multi-tool. Uh, it's an uphill battle. And, you know... There will be times when it's just you. But I think you have a good work ethic, uh, Space. And I think that, you you know, that's that's going to win you the day. Whenever I do, the, like, the very long streams and I put in the effort, I see a bump, you know. Unfortunately, you know, I have, I have other things. I have a... Uh, a girlfriend, I've got a job, I run a business, uh, I can't, 
I can't stream 24 seven, but when I do put in the effort, I see a re I, you know, I see a bump. And so I think you're on the right path of just like flat out putting in leaning, you know, lean in, do the work. What are you are? Did you guys see that? Oh, Yeah. Okay. Here's what happened. I couldn't put away the stupid multi-tool. Kept trying to put away, kept trying to put it away. And then I just walked up here and it tossed it. It just, uh, my character just decided to throw it on the ground. I'm going to, I need that multi-tool. Without it, it's going to cost me another half an hour, maybe another hour to get that multi-tool back. Oh, I just don't see. I was hoping it like fell through the ship. Without that multi-tool, it's unlikely that I'll be able to continue salvaging tonight. Uh, because what's going to happen is I'm going to go back to the space station to get a multi-tool. Uh, and then I'm going to get trapped in the elevator and I'm going to have to redo. I'm going to have to log out. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it. I will try it. But we may... <laughs> Something as simple as a multi-tool could just destroy this stream. Uh, so, um, yeah, we'll see how, how it goes. I can't wait until you can uh, create these here. Uh, eventually, you, you'll be able to create multi-tools uh, on the Vulture. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ugh. But I can't go. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that? Is that is that Chris Roberts? Is that like an offering from Chris? Grab that. Grab that son of a bitch. Okay. Put put it away did you put it away no you didn't put it on your belt sir ah okay this is the worst um i don't i don't like this okay i just put it away ah oh, i hate this Oh, there are things that I, I wish I could just click on it and say store, carry, lower, drop, inspect, place, customize. Just give me an option to put store it um, because this doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to try the old Moby Glass trick. Does that work? Okay, I think it persisted. Okay, that's the fix. Uh, did I need to move something? Is that what, is that what happened here? Okay, we're good. Uh, there wasn't an equipped option there, uh, JD. I was looking for that. And welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, yeah, there wasn't an equip. Uh, what I had, when it's in your hands, you. I don't think equipped is an option. I had, uh, I was looking for store. I wanted to store it. But I think just hitting Moby Glass is the way to go. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, back to salvaging. Yeah, I was trying to store it, though. I was trying to put it on my person, but equip will put it in my hands, right? I had it equipped. I was holding it. But I don't know. I don't know. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. And apparently I am. Ah, okay. I just hit Moby Glass. And then it auto-equips. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I'll try it later. That's a good... It happens to me all the time. It will not, you know, I can't get rid of it. And then I do something and it'll drop it. Oh, I will, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will try. Okay, go, go, go. Yep, go. That has been happening to me for more than a few patches. Uh, where you just cannot, like sticky fingers, you can't get rid of the gun or whatever's in your. Usually happens with pistols and uh, multi tools. Uh, but any gun, I have a hard time getting rid of sometimes. Yeah. It's life in Alpha, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. N now it's permanently holstered. Okay. Grab. Oh, but I'm in some kind of weird... Equip. Inspect. Customize. Grab it. It's alpha, baby. Uh, yeah, I think this may be dead. This is okay. You saw that, right? Everybody saw that. Everybody just saw the demon multi-tool. What what you really what you really need? Because um, you know this is a very heavy thing here. What I need is an option where it's like, oh, can I grab this thing? No, I can't. I need a a grab but it's going to hurt your back option you know like yes you can lift this but you're going to be you know your back is going to be injured but then just let me man it out you know tough it out and bring it over oh there it is um grab equip inspect
Now I'm curious. Can I? Oh, can I do that? Oh, <gasps> look at that. I think I fixed it. Yes, I did. Check that out. Did you see that? Just grabbed it off the floor. Uh, so you can see why you need about 10 of these tractor beams. Because uh, of this stuff. Just, you know, the random uh, kind of issues that you run into. Put it away. Okay. Yeah, we're... Oh, no, we're not. Okay, that did it. Yeah, that did it. Okay, so <laughs> what have we learned today, <laughs> boys and girls? <laughs> I think what we learned is you just have to be persistent. You have to just, you know... Try, try, and try again, and you will get exactly what you need. Like another drink. Yes, never give up, never surrender. That's really my mantra for the new year. <laughs> I, know said, I, I said I had another mantra, but never give up, never surrender. Sounds like a good way to go through the year. Just take every, every morning you should sit down and reflect upon what what are you trying to get done what do you what do you really need to get done today you know do you really need to salvage uh and make 500,000 credits is that what you need to do today then just do it Uh, Never Give Up, Never Surrender is from, um, Never Give Up, Never Surrender, uh, I'm terrible at this trivia, Never Give Up, Never Surrender, is that, is, is that Toy Story? Never go up, never surrender. Is that something Buzz Lightyear says? Never go up, never surrender. I'm probably way off. It's kind of something I see Buzz Lightyear saying in Toy Story. Oh, quest. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's quest. Okay. Now to, sh to prove to you that I know what movie you're talking about. Uh, that had Justin Nichols. Uh, he was the, uh, uh, the kid. Uh, it had, um, Sigourney Weaver was in that movie. And, uh, who's the main dude? Can't remember his name. Uh, the guy from uh, Last Man Standing. Uh, I can't remember his name. What is this? It did not fully eject. Uh, can I grab that? <laughs> uh. 
Ah, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that thing just dropped right out of my hand, and I did not. Okay. It just it just did it again. I'm not I'm not dropping it. It's like a hot tomato or hot uh, potato th situation now that I've got here. What's going on? Ah, uh, can I grab it? I may just, I may have a bad multi-tool. Never give up, never surrender. Ah, uh, what was his name? The, uh, the guy, the dude. Fun fact, the person whose name I can't remember, I literally ran into this person. Ah, uh, okay, let's try this. Can it... This is a new one, guys. Um... Okay, it's trying to get it's trying to get out get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there, little dude. Whoa. Okay, it's in a state where it is both ejected and not ejected. It's uh Okay. Well what do we do here? Oh by the way, I can't move. I physically can't move. Okay, let's try a little I'm I'm trying to move and I can't Okay, let's try something a little different. Just kind of crack that. Bring it back over here. There's, there's a method to my madness. Okay, it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, it's going to eject it. I think I... Okay. I mean, you guys are watching what I'm watching, so I don't need to explain to you the craziness that's happening. Can I eject another one? Okay, they just... Decided I was done with that box. Okay, all right, well, there we go. Nope. Back to this, let's try to... Okay. Yeah, I tried clicking eject and there was nothing to it, uh, e you know, eject. But I think what was going on there was the... We'll see what happens here with uh, if I've got I'm missing a box right now. There should have been two boxes to move, and there was one half box outside. Um, so I don't know where that other box went. Uh, because I should have had two boxes down there, and I only had a half a box, so... Yeah, I could go sell. But I think I'm going to... Um, I'll do two more boxes. We'll see if it persists. Yeah, I think it's kind of... It's its own game loop. Uh, the, the bugs that you have to deal with. But look at look at this. Tim Allen. That's the guy's name, Tim Allen. Uh fun fact. Uh because uh, he was in the movie quest. Uh I literally so I've had a couple of celebrity run-ins. 
where I've I've literally not, you know, ran into them figuratively. I'm talking literally ran into uh, two celebrities, and Tim Allen was one of them. Uh, Tim Allen, who is a, uh, he's an avid racer, uh, and I happen to be at a racetrack, and um, it was, uh, I don't go into some of the details here, but basically uh, I had access to uh, kind of the pit stop area, and, uh, oh, the filler station, I don't need to get out. I thought I thought actually I thought it was blocked again, but okay. So I actually had access to the to the pit stop area, and I had no idea that Tim Allen was one of the racers. Uh, and so I was talking to somebody, and all of a sudden this car rolls up, and a guy jumps out and bumps into me, almost knocking me over, and it was Tim Allen. <laughs> he missed the he missed the 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 uh, uh, he kind of missed the the not the the pit stop because he made the pit stop but he went long on the pit stop and ended up going to this area where people were standing myself included and Tim Allen went out and jumped right out of his car kind of had a you know kind of like a uh, welded doors, you know, so he had to fly out the window and he ran right into me, apologized like the gentleman that he is. And before I knew what was going on, I looked around and I turned back and I'm like, that looked like Tim Allen. And it was, it was Tim Allen. He ran into me. Uh, he was a, such a cool dude, by the way. I mean, you only get to see like a half a second of his life, right? But he popped out of the car because he had to. He had to jump out. Uh, and then as he did that, a circle of people started, you know, pushing towards me and him because we were both in the same spot. And it all happened in a flash. And before you know it, there were just people around asking him about it. You know, what is, you know, what is he doing? And But he was like super kind. And because he almost knocked me over and he, he made sure I was OK before he, you know, went on and talked to the reporters and all the other people. Uh, and then the, the reporters just swooped in there and separated me between, you know, me and him. It all happened, I would say, in less than 15 seconds. Um, but it was Tim Allen and he ran into me. Uh and I, the other celebrity that I've literally, literally run, ran into uh, was Steve Martin. Uh, I was, <laughs> this is such a stupid story. Uh, but I was living in, uh, uh, I was living in Madison, Wisconsin at the time. And, uh, uh, Steve Martin is an avid banjo player. He has a band, a, a banjo band, and he was playing in Madison, Wisconsin. And I was, uh, I used to work downtown, and I was at a food cart, you know, like a, they, they had these things every, you know, lunchtime, you could go out to a food cart and buy your lunch. And I was at a food cart and I backed away from, I had placed my order and I kind of stepped away uh, so somebody could place their order. And I backed into Steve Martin. And I looked, he, I remember what he was wearing and I looked at this dude and I was like, that guy looks a lot like Steve Martin. But I didn't think it was him. I just thought it was another hipster, you know, uh, in the town that I lived in. A lot of you know, people dress like Steve Martin. So, you know, the tennis shoes, you know, and the uh, fedora and, you know, 
And that's what this guy was dressed like. And I'm like, that guy looks just like Steve Martin. And then I found out later uh, that it was. But I ran into him, too. Like, physically ran into him. Uh, He was also nice. He apologized for bumping into me. Uh, And then he asked... Oh, so I had dialogue with him. He asked where he should get lunch. And I was like, oh, you should go to this place. It's uh, around the corner. You know, if you have some time. And uh, he went He went to the place. And, uh, and then there was all these posts on social media about the fact that Steve Martin was in town. But up until I saw the social media post, I didn't know it was him. So those are the two celebrities that I've run into. Literally ran into. I don't think I've run into anyone else. Uh, Steve Martin is super cool. I think Steve Martin, yeah, I mean, he's he's just... uh, And Tim Allen. Uh, I don't have much more... You know, literally only a few seconds of knowing him. Um, <laughs> oh, this is this is my life now. This is my life. Uh, this is what. <laughs> oh, I do have another uh, celebrity story, but. Uh, It's an odd story. Oh, so I don't think I can. I think this is, I'm, I'm kind of running out of tricks here with this multi-tool. So I think I'm going to sell after this. So I can get some more money. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they treat you like a human, and you're like, oh, my God, he's amazing. Um, But, yeah. You can't judge somebody by a minor interaction. In fact, you can't really judge a celebrity at all from a, a minor interaction. I mean, just imagine how terrible... You know, the mood you might be in, some random mood that you happen to be in. Uh, you know, a celebrity doesn't have the ability to have just a human moment. They have to be on all the time. And I'm not saying that's, you know, woe is me, they're a celebrity, whatever. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, that's, I'm going to go sell because I'm concerned I'm going to lose my money. Uh, given what I have right now. But the scrutiny, uh, just the scrutiny of having a bad moment. I mean, look at what happened to uh, morphologists. You know, you can disagree with the moment or his opinion and his attitude. And you can totally think he did something terrible. But what it all boils down to is he just had a human moment. Uh... And, you know, it was caught on camera. I guess it's more details than that, too, because I, I think it, it went a little far. But, but, you know, that's the thing. Like, he, we can't really judge him for that one moment any more than I could. I mean, Tim Allen, I know his background He's really um, uh, had a kind of a rough past. Um, I believe he went to prison and he had some drug issues, but um, but he he aspired to to better himself, and you know he just kind of made it. uh, You know, ended up making him a, a better life for himself. I admire that. And from what I can tell from the one moment, there's something else. I will say this, though, too, about the when, when he did bump into me. It was so reactionary. And when somebody reacts to protect somebody else, 
that kind of shows a good spirit, you know, like he's, he's, he's a good dude because he didn't, you know, he didn't come out of the car and bump me and go, what the hell were you doing there? Like he was trying to prevent me from falling. And then after he had made sure I was okay, he directed his attention to the swarm of people coming towards him. I think that, that kind of tells quite a bit about a person. No, I'm talking about the old morphologist issue, uh, Mordred. It just, it's so, you know, it's so star citizen related. Um, it's like morphologist is our celebrity. We don't have a lot of star citizen celebrities and he's one of them. And, you know, I, I feel for the guy in a way because I understand he probably had a moment and that moment translated to a significant drop. Um, he has had a very, 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 very significant fall. Uh, he's lost a lot of subscribers. He lost a lot of support. Uh, and it was all from like him throwing a tantrum, you know. Now, he's done other things to kind of double down on that. and um, But it still is affecting him. How many months later, you know? He had a ramp up. He was the single most uh, popular star citizen content creator by a landslide. And now, not so much. It was a popcorn moment. Um, but I mean, imagine, you, imagine you're a morphologist, right? Like, and you go look at his referral um, stats. They're public. And uh, he has the highest referral ratings, meaning he, more people have used his referral code to play Star Citizen than any other person by a landslide. I think level cap is number two, but he's not even in the vicinity as Morphologist. So Morphologist has been tremendously significant and important in bringing in new players as evident by that stat. And his, you know, number of subscribers and all of his numbers are far you know above and beyond any other star citizen content creator i've looked and then after that moment uh not, not so much i mean he will always you know it'll take a while for other people to catch up but he had to kind of break away from it and now anything negative he says is going to be taken as another A2 bomber moment. Um, but I don't think he's, you know, had he had a publicist or a PR manager or somebody who, you know, would be helping him with his public image, they would have helped him through that moment because he kind of made it worse. And it's unfortunate that he did. But he did. You know, he had a moment. He had a little home, human kind of meltdown. Let's face it, we've all we've all been there. We've all had our meltdowns at some point. Uh, he just happened to have the biggest audience to melt down to. And then, you know, had he shown some humility or settled back and just said, "Okay, you know, dude, I'm a, you know, I'm an architect and I play this game and I trying to bring my perspective and uh, but you know I had this thought about the A2 and this is my thought this is just my opinion uh, it could have could have it could have gone away I think people would have but he doubled down twice and I think that's a problem uh, oops That's a problem, Matt. You know, and I'm, I don't mean to bring him into any any discussion other than to say, because he is a, he's the the star citizen celebrity, um, and 
we're talking about good moments and bad moments. Now imagine I met <laughs> Tim Allen, right? And, he, and and he was pissed because he had a bad lap time. And then he gets out of his, and his brakes are screwed up and he can't stop where he needs to stop. So he goes long on the pit stop. Then he pops out of the vehicle and there's some stupid dude there. <laughs> <laughs> and he runs into the dude, it would have been okay for him to say, get out of my way. You know, he would have been, maybe he was mad. He could have, he had, he's a human. He has a right to be mad in that moment. Um, but had he been mad, I would have been telling all of you what a horrible person he is. You know, oh, I met Tim Allen. He was a horrible person. But you can't judge a person in 15 seconds. Uh, yeah, I do think Morphologist is a brilliant movie content creator, uh, but probably not somebody who does PvP or PvE. And neither do I. I can relate to that, you know. Uh, I can relate to him in many levels. I almost became an architect. My, I had a pathway to be, to be an architect. Um... Uh, I have family members that are architects. And so when he, I started watching his videos because of his description, he did a great job of saying, hey, I'm trying to bring an architect's perspective to this game. And that's my, you know, kind of the angle. And I thought that's brilliant. That's a brilliant angle. And in fact, that's kind of what I was thinking because I'm a software developer. I thought, oh, I'll, you know, I will use that uh, as something to bring a new perspective to a game as a software developer. Uh, let's store this. Okay, we're going to sell this. Get some money. Oh, I hope we can store this. There's that. Okay. Uh, I think I stored it, and I think the way I could check is to see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can change its outlook. Outload here. Yeah, looks like it's stored, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to change any of this. Yeah, I mean, his ship, morphologist ship videos, ship review videos are exceptionally done. Uh, the amount of work that he must have done, I mean, he deserves tons of credit for that. Um, they're insightful, they're informative, they're visually appealing and beautiful and and bringing in the architect's perspective the way he does it without being you know arrogant uh i really appreciate that do i have a broken leg or something i'm moving really slow um and, he, and i think he'll bounce back I, I mean he's already on a bounce back you know he's already gonna be back to where he was and i'm i'm thankful for that i, I didn't agree with him by the way in any with this whole a2 thing i didn't like being called you know, he called, you know, called us all idiots. I didn't like that. Uh, he apologized for that. Um, I didn't like that he doubled down and, you know, but, you know, I also don't like uh, chocolate. So that's pretty popular. People like chocolate. I don't like chocolate. So <laughs> everyone's entitled to their own opinion. He is as well. He has every right to voice that opinion. But, you know, in the manner in which he did it, of course, could have been better. So, 
maybe this is the year everyone forgives morphologists and forgives themselves and forgives other people who've wronged them by having an opinion that wasn't expressed in the way that they wanted it to be expressed. You know, this could be a good year for that. We could all just kind of let all that, all that shit go <laughs> and we'd be a lot happier. You know, it does absolutely no one any good to, uh, you know, it just doesn't do anyone any good to harbor that shit. Okay, we're going to sell. I hope. I hope we're going to sell. Dude, he goes to the third temp terminal. I always go to the uh, second. I like this new terminal. Okay, let's take a look at our our balance. Uh, let's see here. I like to do this so I can see the commas. One six one three four four. There we go. Balance improved. So we're still about 22%. But I think, given where we are, I think we've been pressing our luck. We've gotten very lucky. The bugs that we've run into have been workable. But I think it would press our luck to, to, to go any further, especially since my uh, multi-tool has been so flaky. And without that, I might... It might just be an ultimate waste of time. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a end of the session. Let me just let's find something. I wish I could be next to that. I bet I can. What does this do? There we go. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and call it tonight. Um, let me just show you what's going on with my hair. Yeah, you see what's happening there? Oh, I guess not when you're in third person. I mean, if you want to... I think this this looks just like me. Except for the hair. I don't have Wolverine hair. And I don't have that color of hair. Uh, but there's my face reveal. That's pretty much me. Right there. Uh, 12... Yep. So... I'm gonna go ahead and call, I'm gonna go ahead and call it tonight, guys. Uh, it has been a lot of fun, um, but it, it we've kind of reached an hour. Um, we made a little bit of money tonight, which was kind of fun. That was good. Um, I'm gonna keep this as a goal. We've kind of, as you can see, we we're only about a the quarter of the way there. Actually, almost like a third of the way there. Sorry. Uh, so we're about a third of the way there. We I would say we spent about an hour and a half in total salvaging. So that's not too bad um i would imagine that uh we'll have a good set of how long it takes to make about a half a million in salvaging by continuing this series so uh i'm gonna go ahead and give it a call call it for the evening i hope you i hope you appreciate me as much as i appreciate you uh please like and subscribe if you haven't uh, it really does help me out quite a bit um, if you want to know when I stream, I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around 4 o'clock 
p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I try to time it around other people. Uh, so if Jack Axton is streaming, for example, or Space Pup is streaming, I might go on as late as 4.30. But uh, in that time, I try to go on around that time, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, excuse me, Tuesday and Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, I try to stream, but it's not scheduled. So if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when I do stream. I do run an organization called The Know Nothings, and it is a org that you can learn more about uh, through the Discord, uh, which has the same name. And the links for both of those are in the description. If you join the Discord, that... Is he just got looking at his watch? Yeah, he is. Uh, if you join the Discord, that's the best way to get a hold of me. And if you would... Oh, yeah. seventy. We're at 77 uh, uh, subs, by the way. Uh, I, I'm i going for 100, uh, guys. I, I'm, I, I will share my goals. I just recently put together a whole list of things I want to achieve on this channel and on the Discord. Um, and it's pretty aggressive, but I think I can do it. Um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna. I'll share my goals and and sort of what milestones I'm trying to reach, because I want to be accountable to those. But uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to a hundred and, and beyond. I promise you. I'm not quitting. Um, I've seen such a tremendous amount of growth in this channel in the in the few months that I've been streaming, and I appreciate everyone for helping me uh, get there. And uh, we're not done. We've got a lot more work to do. And, uh, yeah, we'll get to 100. We're going to get beyond that. So uh, I will do a celebration at 100. Uh, share a couple of milestones with you. Right now we have, um, I think it's over 15 videos, have over 100 views on the channel. Um, our uh, The video that I did, the salvage video that I did, uh, has been really doing well. Um and thank you for everybody who's helped me with that video. Um, uh, we're at 175 views of that uh, salvage tutorial that I did. So go check that out if you haven't. Uh, I spent a lot of time doing that. I'm working on some videos with uh, that will be used to improve the quality of this stream. I want to have a nice, a cleaner, better uh, bumper, uh, the intro and outro uh, I want to include the names of the, the financial supporters and um, something more representative of the gameplay that I do. Uh, so look forward to that. I'm going to be doing a welcome video for the channel, uh, for those who are new to the channel, uh, so they can kind of get a sense of what type of gameplay they might be expecting. Um, so all, I'm going to be working on the bot, the Discord bot, uh, and some overlays and some additional functionality that... Um, I has been asked by other people to be put into this bot because they want to use it on their Discord server. So um, I will be doing that as well. So lots of things coming up in the next year. I'm going to formalize all this and put it in the Discord. But uh, for now, I'm just going to say uh, have a great night. And, you know, this is a new year. This is a new opportunity for all of us to make changes in our lives and to be better people. If we're not, um, we can always strive to be better than we are. It's, it's time to reach for the stars and go for something lofty, too. Think of something big that you want to get done and uh, just go for it. And if I can be of any help with you getting to your goal, let's talk. Because I would love to help you accomplish your goal. Um, and, you know, anything I can do, absolutely anything I can do to help I'm, I'm here for you guys, so uh, I love and appreciate you all. My name is Yentra, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.
seven. 